Hello students and welcome to lecture 2 of the ongoing chapter photochemistry. Here we will discuss about the characteristics of light, the photochemical equilibrium, look at the dimerization of anthracene and the photochemical reaction of hydrogen plus bromine. Light is a band of waves of different wavelength having characteristic frequency, wave number as such. The electromagnetic spectrum shows the wavelength of different kind of light, different kind of radiations that are known. The internal energy of the molecules increase when they absorb radiations. This increase in internal energy can be summed as the addition of energies of their electronic, vibrational and rotational states. The wavelength or energy for different type of radiation has been shown here. This energy increase can also lead to electronic transitions from a lower energy level to a higher energy level. The typical electronic transitions follow the selection rules and may include sigma to sigma star transition, n to sigma star transition, pi to pi star transition and n to pi star transition for different groups of molecules as shown here for example. Now what happens when radiation hits a molecule? When a radiation hits a molecule it may lead to scattering or absorption. Absorption of light or photon that is H nu can lead the reactant molecule to go from a ground state to an excited state. The two associated processes can be absorption or emission. What is absorption? When electrons absorb energy of a photon and jump to a higher energy level from a lower energy level as you can see from E1 to E2. And what is emission? When an electron in a higher energy level jumps to a lower energy level emitting a photon that is known as emission. To understand the equilibrium of a photochemical reaction, consider the reaction between A to B, where A to B transition is happening due to the presence of photon and B to A is the reverse reaction occurring via thermal reaction. A absorbs H nu amount of light to form A star and finally A star that is the excited state forms B, the end product. This B can thermally degrade to give back A. The rate of reaction at equilibrium can be seen to give the photochemical equilibrium constant capital K which is equal to K2 by K1 where K1 and K2 are the rate constant for forward and backward reaction respectively. We have already seen a little bit about the primary and secondary reactions. An overall photochemical reaction has two processes. One that obeys the laws of photochemical equi equi equivalence and proceeds by absorption of radiation. This process is the primary reaction. The second one does not follow the law and is a thermal reaction occurring after the primary reaction. This is the secondary reaction as you can see in the example listed below. Another important photophysical process is the dimerization of anthracene which is formed by a 4 plus 4 cycloaddition in presence of UV light. There are four processes involved in dimerization of anthracene. What are those four processes? What are the mechanism? There are four steps. The first step is the absorption of photon to give absorption of photon by anthracene to raise it to an excited state that is A star. Step 2 is the dimerization that is excited state anthracene and ground state anthracene combine to give a dimer A2. Step 3 is fluorescence. It is another photophysical process and step 4 is the unimolecular decomposition of the dimer. The rate constant for each step is shown here. Here R1 is equal to Ia. What is Ia? Ia is defined as the number of moles of photons 
absorbed per second per unit volume. This is based on Stark-Einstein law. You have already gone through what is Stark-Einstein law. Now it's a time to recall what is Stark-Einstein law and what are its implications. Using steady state approximation for reaction kinetics, we can determine the overall rate constant of the reaction R which is given by this formula. Now in the photochemical reaction of hydrogen plus bromine, there is only one difference from its thermal counterpart. That is the photochemical dissociation of Br2 bromine molecule into bromine atoms by photon absorption in the chain initiation step. As you can see for H2 plus Br2 the mechanism has again few steps. The first one is the chain initiation. Now what we are trying to say is that this chain initiation process is actually started due to the presence of the photon molecule H nu. After that once the chain initiation has begun it continues in the process of chain propagation where the atom generated further add to the molecule and propagate to give different product. The next, next step is the chain inhibition where the chain stops and finally chain termination where all the atoms recombine to give molecules. It can be observed from the rate of formation, it can be observed that the rate of formation of HBr depends on here, d by dt of HBr, it depends on the square root of intensity of light absorbed here, it is directly proportional. At room temperature, the quantum yield for this reaction is extremely low. This is because the reaction is highly endothermic and the chain propagation step cannot continue. However, with increase in temperature, the quantum mill definitely increases. The details of the reaction mechanism as well as the rate constant can be found in the notes attached here. With this, we conclude today's lecture.